was brought to Hello you by and welcome Conti to the premiere edition of 10-Minute Joomla Tips. 10-Minute Joomla Tips is a weekly screencast on Joomla, Joomla extensions, Joomla best practices and accessibility, web design, and software and services review. 10-Minute Joomla Tips is a project that I've been working on for about two or three months now. And... Uh, I finally decided to launch it. However, in the first edition, we don't have uh, uh, too many tips to show you on the screen. What we are trying to do is to introduce ourselves, tell you who we are, explain Joomla to those that are new to Joomla. Although our audience is going to be mostly web developers that already use Joomla, but we expect a good number of people new to Joomla, maybe web developers that want to make the jump to building dynamic websites or that are interested in Joomla accessibility, in Joomla template design, and other topics that might take their business to the next level. The other big audience that we suspect we might get is website owners that are curious about Joomla. For that reason, I will try on each episode to cover a little bit of everything in a specific tip. So if, for instance, uh, the topic of that week is uh, template design, I will try to approach it from uh, a beginner point of view and give the advanced listeners something a little bit more in depth. Why the screencast format? I think that many of the concepts in Joomla are better reviewed in a visual format. The format 10 minute Joomla tips is because my intention is to keep it fairly short and accessible while still being able to explain certain concepts in depth. Let's talk about who I am and what my company does. The company is ContiCreative.com and my name is Marco. I am the chief developer at ContiCreative.com. We are a web agency and we specialize in Joomla, WordPress, Drupal and other scripts like Moodle, Zencart, various e-commerce scripts, but our focus is mainly on Joomla and Virtumart for e-commerce. There are several good reasons for that. After many years in the business, I realized that Joomla is really the best tool for most of the jobs that come across our agency. The reason for that is not so much that Joomla is the best CMS out there. Joomla is the best package out there. There are very few CMSs that can stand to Joomla in terms of community, in terms of available software, and ease of use and usability. For the reason, our focus has shifted almost exclusively to Joomla most recently, although we still do a lot of development in WordPress and Drupal, which are in their own right very, very good systems. But Joomla is special and uh, one of the reasons why Joomla is better, in our opinion, of course, is better than the other systems, can be seen in the JED, or the Joomla Extension Directory. You can see that the JD is now at 3007 extensions. A few weeks ago, it was at over 4000 and almost about to reach 5000. So I suppose they did some cleanup and uh, eliminated some of the more obsolete extensions. I also know that they've been trying to weed out certain types of extensions that don't fall in line with the Joomla license. However, even this reduced number is still a staggering amount of extensions. When I develop in uh, other CMSs and uh, I go look at their extension directory, compared to the Joomla one, it's pretty dismal. What Joomla allows you to do is, for instance, on any given subject or topic that the client might need or your own website might need, you may have several choices rather than just one. In most other CMSs, you're often lucky if you find, I don't know, one calendar, for instance, and that calendar works with your version of the software. In Joomla, there are several calendars, and we can take a look right now on what's available. Let's go to calendar and events, and as you can see, we have several different type of calendars. There are seven calendars available and 19 events manager. Another great reason why Joomla is a fantastic CMS is the community and the forum. Going to the forum, you can see that the forum is incredibly busy. You can see that by the amount of posts and by the quality of the responses that you get in, in the Joomla forum. For instance, I spend every Saturday morning, I make a point of spending two hours answering questions from uh, newbies. I figure when I started with Joomla, which in my case was actually Mambo, I needed a lot of help. And this is where I learned most of what I know now about Joomla. A lot of it I did by personal experimentation, but to this day, whenever I have a question, 
I post it in the appropriate forum, and nine times out of ten, I get an answer. Eight times out of ten, I get a very good answer. The other thing that makes Joomla great is in its interaction with other scripts. For instance, there is a great component called JFusion that allows you to interface Joomla with Magento, with Moodle, and other third-party scripts. And I suppose it will grow to include even more scripts like them. That means that if Joomla is not so good at a certain task, it can be joined together with these other CMSs or e-commerce or special purpose scripts, and they work together in harmony. Also, Joomla has great community components that pretty much mimic uh, Facebook quite well. They are growing and they, are, they have a ways to go, but they are already very, very powerful. Now that I discussed Joomla a little bit, let me show you my site. This is ContentCreator.com. Like any site, it's obviously a work in progress. And so far, it's been geared toward uh, selling our services to clients that wanted to hire us. However, in the near future, and depending on how well the screencast goes, the site will evolve into a more informational site where other developers and beginners can find useful posts and articles to learn Joomla and to learn good practices in web design. Personally, my experience has been as a corporate webmaster since 1995, so that makes me a very old timer, and I actually started building websites in 1994. So I've been in this business for a long time. I've seen a lot of trends. I build static websites. I build dynamic websites. I worked with large companies, small companies. But when I found Joomla and the open source movement, I realized that building static websites wasn't a, an option anymore that the web was not meant to display brochures online. Otherwise, we could have done the whole thing in PDF and just have people download it. Dynamic websites help you keep your site fresh, keep your site relevant, make it searchable, and attract more readers, more customers, more clients. Once I discovered Joomla, I realized that it was really a great CMS. However, at the beginning, when I started working with Mambo, it was a bit of a hard sell. Not many clients uh, uh, knew about Joomla, knew about CMSs in general. And at the time, I had to do a lot of work educating the clients that all this was available and for a price very similar, uh, certainly equivalent to the building of a static website. About two years ago, more and more people started coming to us looking for a CMS. Even more recently, people started coming to us looking for Joomla. They already knew what they wanted. They were just looking for competent developers that could implement their website. And that's been quite a dramatic shift, one that I'm very glad that happened because it saves me a lot of uh, explanation and an educated client is a better client. In fact, uh, one of our policies when we build websites is to include training alongside the website itself. We need to know that the client is going to be able to manage their own website once we are out of the picture. And they are going to call us only if what they need to do goes beyond the scope of publishing content, pictures and video. One area of web design that we have started covering recently has been training. That came directly from our need to train our own clients to use the system. And after a while, we started getting requests from uh, other web designers, web design beginners, from website owners that wanted to understand a little bit more about their system. And therefore, we, we started offering online training. I conduct my online training with uh, GoToMeeting, and we find it very, very effective. And so do our clients. 10 minute Joomla tip, it's going to be an extension of that. In fact, one request that I have of uh, whatever few listeners I might have on my first edition of 10 minute Joomla tips is to send us your question. If you have a topic that you would like us to cover, we'll be happy to cover it in a future edition. Please send us your questions at joomlaquestions at conticreative.com. Naturally, we won't be able to answer everyone if uh, the format proves to be successful well we certainly try. issue zero of 10 minute joomla tips to an end and i hope you enjoyed this premiere edition even though we didn't have really many tips for you my name is marco i'm your host and we'll see you next week and web developers